Okay, so it's on the shutter roof now, and it's uh, getting good signal. Very good signal, actually. So that's about 15 metres away. So let's just go back to the transmitter now, and see what we can do. Here's the transmitter. Um, now if you look over there, you can actually see it blinking, or I can anyway, from here. Ah, on this light. Okay. Oh, well, there we go. It seems to have no problem at all. And that's... Uh, that's about 15 to 20 metres. I'd say about 15, something like that. It's receiving every message by the look of it. So I think we need to go a little bit further now. Um, that's as far as I can go in my back garden. It's pretty long uh, for a garden in the UK, but um... Oh, a little cat. Hi. Mew. Hey, a little cat's come to have a look. <laughs> I've noticed that the height of the transmitter seems to make a huge difference. So I think I'll get them both together now and then go into the street. Okay, so I'm in the street now, so I'm going to put one on the top of one of my cars and then I'm going to walk to my parents who live down the road and I'll see if it works. I'd say I'm about 35 metres away now, and it's, stopped, and it's not blinking, so let's go a bit closer. But the transmitter isn't very high though. The transmitter's only about, I'd say, one and a half metres high. So I'm walking closer to the transmitter now, and let's see what it does. Okay, it's blinking. Hmm... I'd say that's about 25 metres, something like that. But the transmitter's not very high, so let's put the transmitter higher and see what the range is then. Okay, so I've put them both together again. Now I need to try and put the transmitter higher. Okay, so I've put the transmitter on top of a door ledge now. So it's about two and a half metres high. Now let's see what happens, see if there's any difference. I've got, the front, I've got the receiver again. And let's start walking off. Okay, this is where we got up to last time. It's a lot further. I'd say I'm at least 30 metres away now. Okay, I'm at my parents' house now. And... It's still receiving them, but not very frequently. Let's go a bit closer. If I hold it in a certain way, it receives a hell of a lot more. Let's see if I can go a bit further now. No, I think that's about the limit, no matter what position I hold it in. But okay, that's a good 40 metres or so. Let's start walking back. And I'm back. So, there's the project.
Okay, so test complete. And it seems to be, or range seems to be dependent on a number of factors, but it seems to me that the biggest factor is the height of the transmitter. So, the higher you put the transmitter, it seems that the further you can go. So, what would be a cool experiment here is to change the antenna for a directional antenna. Um, but of course, you don't want it too directional. But, um, yeah. So I might look at something called the Yagi antenna, and um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So I've actually really enjoyed this little project, and um, I actually enjoy doing the nocturnal stuff too, um, doing these tests and stuff. There's actually a local forest called Wepper Woods, and it would have been fun doing it there, but anyway. For those of you who are interested in the code for this, I'll put that on my website, and um, there'll probably be a link in the description to my website. Um, I've not really introduced this website thing, but um, I'm sure you'll come across it and decide for yourself whether you like it or not. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye!